Hello there, I'm Polly G here with another question. Uh, it says find the slope of the tangent at its point of inflection, and then they give us f of x. Well, this is calculus, so I assume we're going to have to differentiate, right? So f prime will give us the slope of the tangent anywhere. Um, and f double prime of x will give us the point of inflection, right? So where the second derivative equals zero is where we'll find the point of inflection. But how do we differentiate this one? Well, it's just simple power rule. If you know that ax to the n, the derivative of that would be you take the coefficient and multiply it by the exponent and then sur uh, subtract one from the exponent. We can do these ones individually. They're separated by addition. So this is kind of like three and one. So the derivative of this one would be 3x squared uh, plus 6x to the first, right? Because 3 times 2 is 6. And then plus 1, right? Then the second derivative, we do the same thing. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then the derivative of 6x to the first power is just 6. At this point, we can set the second derivative equal to 0. All right, and that'll find us the point of inflection. So 6x, well, let's see, 3x squared plus 6x, yeah. So then 6x plus 6 equals 0. All right, looks like I ran out of room. 6x plus 6 equals 0. And so what value will that be? Well, we can subtract 6 and then divide by 6. So it's going to be negative 6 over 6 equals x, so that's negative 1. Okay, and then at that location is the point of inflection. So if the first derivative gives the slope, is the rate of change of the slope of the tangent, and the second derivative, uh, when it equals zero, gives us the point of inflection, the location of the point of inflection, I think from here you should be able to find the slope of the tangent, because you can find the slope of the tangent anywhere by using the derivative. I hope that this helps you. Thank you.